Hello my Aries, thank you for coming to watch my video. So this is your June reading. What does my Aries need to know for June? What does Aries need to know for June? Your first card is this. This is about going through this um, this spiritual journey. Now, what I do want to say is Rahu and um, Venus are in your first house, or if this is your moon sign, this is your first house. So this is uh, Rahu, Venus, and there is Uranus, which I don't do the outer planets really that much, but it is about this spiritual journey, Uranus is. Um, it's about this spiritual connection. So I feel like you guys are going to be doing some spiritual um, connection with yourself, finding that spirituality, rather if it's going to church, reading your Bible, um, doing some meditation, um, connecting to that spiritual side of you, okay? But you do have Rahu there, which is a karmic connection that is about, and it, it kind of gives this uh, fog around the things that you need or the things that you want, that energy of Aries for you. So or, um, maybe if it is, um, you know, that self-worth, um, it will bring that fog towards that. If it is about that um, that that personal whatever it is that you're going through in life it will kind of bring this magnitude of, of strength but yet make it foggy if that makes any sense so it is karmically connected so at this time you are learning a lot of lessons in life you are learning um, how to balance the duality of that Aries and the Libra out so at this time you have Libra in your seventh house and seventh house is about love relationships and not only a relationship with your lover but with other around you so at this time it's very important to balance that relationship between you and whoever out okay so we are going through this spiritual journey at this time my Aries and then you have this a lot of transformation going on things changing in your life things are coming to an end other things are beginning but it is about transformation so your life is changing at this time for the month of June then you have this this is the justice card but it is also the karmic card in other words these are things that you are learning which I just said that you have have that karma connection with Rahu sitting in your first house right now okay and then you have this this is about um, also let me go back to this this is about knowing that you're in the right place at the right time you are, are on the right path wherever you are going for this month okay it is karmically connected to you you have this as well this is about people around you maybe people influencing you maybe there is going to be a new change in the people around you as well then you have this this is about a balance between you and another Another person or it could be about the people around you and like I said balancing the relationships out because Rahu is in the first house and K2 is in the seventh house of a relation K2 is about that separation or that uh, relationship between others but learning how to balance your relationships out wow that's amazing how that came out anyways then you have this this is about being patient waiting for the universe to row your boat definitely Aries you guys are very fast-paced you know how you are you're just quick quick to judge quick to everything you want to be the first the you, you you are very full of energy. You want to go, 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 go. You are very impatient. So this card is perfect for you because um, this is about patience. Knowing how to live in the now as well. Don't live in the past. Don't live in the future. Live in the now. Know that the universe is going to take care of you, okay? Then you have this. This is about manifesting, but it also is about new beginnings. She is creating new beginnings with her magic. She can manifest things. Whatever you need, whatever you have to change in your life, speak it as it's already there believe that it's there and bring it in okay be positive then this is about looking at things from a different perspective sometimes we get a step back and look at things in a different way and then we can uh, we can look at it and say okay this is what I need to do right and then we have this this is about 
about being kind, generous, loving, and it is about paying attention to your intuition. Your intuition is very powerful at this time, okay? So let's go downward. So this is going through a spiritual journey, and this is about people around you. So this spiritual journey is going to bring maybe other people around you as well. And then you have this. This is about um, manifesting. So at this time, you're manifesting, but with your spirituality, okay? This is, this is about that spirituality. This is about people around you, and that's manifesting. So you're manifesting new spiritual people maybe for some of you around you. Then you have this. This is about transformation, things changing in your life, turning from, you know, a cocoon. This butterfly has came out of its cocoon and now it has wings to fly. And then you have this. This is about putting a balance between your relationships and life. It could be a lover. It could be your children. It could be your parents, whatever that may be, your friends. But putting a balance to that, paying attention, putting a little energy towards that. And then you have this. This is about um, having that, uh, being able to see things in a different way, stepping back, looking at things from a different perspective, okay? So at this time, I feel like this transformation will help you balance out things and make you look at things in a different way once you go through this transformation, once you change things. Then you have this. This is the justice card, but karmic connections. Whatever you are, you are in the right spot. You are on the right journey. You are supposed to be where you're where what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing. And then you have this being patient, waiting for the universe, knowing that the universe will bring you the things that you need, okay? But learn how to live in the present, don't live in the past, and don't live in the future. And then you have this pay attention to your intuition, okay? Your intuition is very strong, so pay attention to that now because um, it's very important, especially if you are a... Um, Aries moon because that Aries moon actually is a, you have Rahu sitting there with it and that will bring that intuition as well your intuition is very good all right so what do we need to know for Aries love what does Aries need to know for love at this time for June yeah and um, you have Mars also going into Aries as well so Mars is bringing that energy of um, very, uh, it's bringing that energy of Mars, which you guys are warriors, you guys are fast paced, you guys don't think about things before you do them, you just get it done. So that energy of Mars is, is in Aries as well this month, and so at this time you have that, um, that fast paced uh, be paying attention to your energy because your energy will be running out, um, especially with that uh, with that Mars there as well. All right, so what do we need to know for love in our um, relationship life for Aries? All right, so. All right, love. All right, so this is a new passion coming within, being creative, creativity, but passion. You got a lot of passion this month, okay, Aries? Then we have this. This is going to the next level, and, and since we're talking about rom romance and love, you could be getting engaged, making a final decision, going going to the next level, maybe receiving something for the hard work that you have been doing. Then you have this. This could be new love, new romance, new feelings in your love life. It doesn't necessarily have to be a new romance, but it is about new happy feelings coming towards you. Then you have this. This is about um, feeling overwhelmed at this time, trying to get to the top of the mountain, but the, it's like you're taking one step forward, two steps back. Keep your head up. Things will change. You just got to keep going. And then you have this. This is about um, this is a storm back here. This is the sun coming out. It's going to bring balance into your life, okay? So you're trying to balance out your love life right now, and things will change. It is getting ready to change. It's going to balance out this month. All right, so then you have this. This is another karma card, meaning justice. It also is about karma. Things are where they're supposed to be. So whoever you're with, if you're in a relationship, you're karmically connected. You're supposed to be learning new lessons from this person, okay? And then you have this card. This represents something coming towards you that you've been expecting and then you have this this is about connecting to that uh, what you did when you were first with your mate if you are in a in a relationship it is about finding that true happiness within what is it that makes you happy what is it that makes you feel that happiness within but it also is about um, connecting to that inner child finding those things that really brings you that true happiness when you guys were first together in your love in your relationship bring those things back into your life and then you have this this represents um, 
this is about making a decision. It's like you're trying to figure out what is it that I need to do. Well, see this little fairy right here? It's going to help him. Okay, this is about trying to um, don't be first to, you know, don't quickly make decisions. Think about it before you do. Do a little bit of organizing in your relationship life. I feel like this month is about working on that organization, trying to put things in place, but also it is about making that decision, um, but doing some organizing first before you make that decision. And I feel like you guys are doing some soul healing here as well, but that spiritual healing, okay? Sometimes we don't take that time out to do that healing, and it is time to take time out to heal from whatever it is that you need to in your spirituality but with your relationship all right let's go downward so we have this new passion something starting new creativity then you have this feeling overwhelmed about a certain situation but something coming forward towards you and I feel like this healing is going to really help you in this this with this new passion it's like um, what I said with Rahu setting in the in your um, first house or with your moon it's going to bring um, emotions that are not too clear. It's like really um, prominent but not clear, if that makes sense. Anyways, and then you have this. This is about going to the next level. Some of you might be getting engaged, but receiving something for the hard work you've been doing. And this is about a balance, trying to balance that relationship out. And it is okay to balance that out. It's time to balance that out. And then you have this. This is about that. Um, this is about that connecting to that true happiness within. What 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 makes you guys both happy? Not just you, but also for both of you. It's bringing that balance. You got to find that balance of happiness, okay? And um, bring that into your relationship life, okay? And then you have this. This is about new feelings. It can be new romance for others. It, this is about that justice. It also is about that karmic connection. So whoever you're with right now, it is karmically connected. You're supposed to be with this person. You are supposed to be learning lessons. Doesn't mean you have to be together forever, but you are karmically connected together. Um, then you have this. This is about making a decision and doing some organizing in your love life before you make this decision, whatever that may be, okay? Um, make sure you think about it. Don't just do something, okay? Think about it before you do it, okay? So this was your love reading. This was your reading. So I hope, my Aries, you guys are enjoying your day, and I hope to see you next time. All right, deuces.